Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the quickest and easiest ways to complete this week's Forzathon event called A True Professional which wants you to use the 1973 Ford Capri RS 3100. Now this is a very very cool car and it's a really easy Forzathon challenge to complete. Now you can pick this car up in the auto show for 55,000 credits or potentially cheaper in the auction house as well and you have to use just a standard version so you don't need the ultimately rare Forza edition just a standard version will do. Now I've also created a tune for you guys to use it's called S2 Capri and the share code is 181-877-147 and it's there if you need it it will make life a bit easier. Now the first challenge which isn't so much of a challenge, it's just more something to do, wants you to rack up 10 miles driving the car. So it's really, really easy to do and it shouldn't take too long either. Now you can do this just by driving anywhere or by doing races, but I find the quickest, quickest way to complete this sort of challenge is just to drive full pelt on the motorway. Now the top speed is a little bit of an issue here, but it should still be completed in under five minutes. Just a couple of runs of the motorway and the challenge will be over and done with. Like I said, not so much a challenge. Now the next one wants you to earn a total of nine stars from speed zones. So again, this is a really, really easy one. Now all I did was filter my speed zones and I end up using the forest green one. Now the reason for this is to get three stars on here, all you have to do is hit 90 mile an hour, which is really, really easy, especially when you're in a tuned Capri. So all you'll have to do effectively is three runs of over 90 mile an hour and you'll get the nine stars in literally about two minutes. So like I said, it's a really, really easy challenge to complete. And the forest green speed zone is probably the lowest sort of three star top speed to achieve out of all of the speed zones now i'm just going to sort of fast forward through the last two runs here but it's just quickly showing you how easy it will be to complete not that difficult at all now moving on to the final challenge here it just wants you to earn eight great skill chains now a great skill chain is when you get 5,000 skill points or more with its multiplier but that doesn't matter too much but as soon as you get a great skill chain it will pop up at the top and when you stop and let the skills finish racking up it will tell you just to the left of where your car is if it was a great skill chain but it's really easy to do. Now you can do this anywhere on the map but I went to the Greendale airstrip which is where I always go for challenges just like this. Now to get 8 of them really won't take you too long, less than 10 minutes to be honest, so it will probably take you about 30 to 40 seconds just to get one great skill chain. Now like I said, if you look at the top there, as soon as you hit 5000 points or more, all you have to do is stop, let the score tally up and you'll already have seen up the top there it would have said great skill chain and when it's tallied up you'll see on the left it says great skill chain there as well now you can continue going but if you just want the great skill chains i'd recommend just stopping after each one and then carrying on again like i said it takes about 30 to 40 seconds to get one so a minute and a bit to get two of them so really it'll take you less than 10 minutes to get eight it's a really nice and easy challenge and like i said you can get this anywhere on the map or you can even do it during some races if you really want to but it's a really easy challenge to finish off on and it sort of finishes from the tone of the whole forzathon this week which was really really easy nice and simple uh, and it means you can crack on with the rest of your festival playlist events now don't forget guys to st stay around because the next video will be the photo challenge guide if anyone needs help with that. But apart from that, I want to say a massive thank you. If this video did help you out, don't forget to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribing massively helps me out as well. But apart from that folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you take care and stay safe.